Hey guys, how's it going? Move Motion Graphics here, and today we'll be taking a look at how you can make Vox style text review and transition in After Effects without any plugins. So we'll be animating a sentence, and then we'll be animating the paragraph text. They look similar, but they're animated in quite a different way, so we're going to take a look at two different approaches on how we can animate this text. Sentence Text Animation So first up, what you want to do is right-click to make a new composition, so you can name the composition whatever you want. I'm going to name it Final, and I'm going to leave the resolution at 1080p, so hit OK, and you have a new composition. So right-click the new composition and make a new solid, that's for our background. So first up, what you want to do is make a text layer. You can do that by pressing the T button or pressing T on your keyboard. So now I'm just typing the text in and I'll be aligning the text to the center using the align window. Right now we're going to animate the text. Put your marker to the first second mark so that we can put a keyframe on that. So we're going to navigate to text, animate, and click on position. Click on range selector and then you'll want to open up the advanced tab. Right now you want to leave the units as percentage and you want our animation to be based on words. Right now you want to shift the position down and you want to play around with the ease values. Right now when you shift the offset value, you should be able to see the words moving, which is kind of what we want already. So we just further refine it by changing the shape to ramp up. And right now what we're going to do is keyframe the offset value from 100 to negative 100. You want to further tweak around with the values and play around so that you will get a smooth animation that you want. So right now we're going to make a new shape which is a rectangle that covers along the whole sentence. And what you want to do now is to head to the effects and presets panel and you want to search for this effect called set Mat. Setmat is basically a simple way of controlling how you use alpha mats. You can choose any layer you want as the alpha mat and the layer that you put the set mat on will be mapped to the layer that you chose. This basically reduces the need to duplicate different layers to achieve alpha mats and luma mats. And with that, we're done with our animation for the sentence text. So what's left to add is basically to make the whole composition look like they belong on some newspaper or paper. So you want to add posterized time and turbulent displays on an adjustment layer on top of everything. So let's move on to the paragraph text. So we'll start off by creating a paragraph text with the same text animation as previously. So after playing with the parameters of the text animator a while, so this is what I got in the end. You guys can pause the video a while to copy the parameters if you guys want. To continue, we'll just add another rectangle on top of the text. So we're going to use the layer as a mat, but in this scenario, we're going to have to extend the mat a little bit downwards so that we can cover the whole paragraph. In order to do that, we're just going to search for this effect called Repital in the effects panel. Repital basically does what its name suggests, so it repeats your object in a tile manner. So we're going to animate the expand downwards option so that our mat expands as the sentences comes in. For this method of setting the mat, we're just going to shift the text layer downwards below the shape layer. Hit on toggle switches and modes and click on alpha mat to shape layer 1. 
right now you should have an animation that closely resembles the final product and we just need to tweak around with the keyframes to make sure that it is not too slow or too fast. As a final touch, we'll just be adding a highlighted area on the first sentence of the paragraph. To do that, you just want to make a shape layer on the top again, and you just want to set the layer mode as multiply. So right now, if you want this frame to be a still frame with the highlighted area, it will be fine, but we're just going to go ahead and do something further, which is to animate the highlighted area in and out. So making sure that your rectangle tool creates a mask and not a shape, create a mask on the highlighter area, and we're going to animate the mask path. So right now I'm just going to apply easy easers to most of the keyframes and we'll just be playing around with the duration of the keyframes. And we're going to apply the adjustment layers that we did on the first part of the tutorial to this part as well, which is turbulent displays and posterized time. And there you have it, a very simple way to do the Vox style animation. There are many many different ways that you guys can do alphamats, so I hope this tutorial actually introduced you to uh, like a few alternatives that might help you guys in the future.